to Grumblings of a Gaming Grinyard. I'm Tom. General Dwight D. Eisenhower famously said, plans are worthless, but planning is everything. A similar statement was crafted by Prussian Field Marshal Helmuth von Moltke, the Elder, in 1871. Translated to English, it is, no plan of operations extends with any certainty beyond the first encounter with the main enemy forces. Over time, Moltke's statement evolved into a concise adage that circulates widely today. No plan survives first contact with the enemy. In the military, we thoroughly develop operations orders, or op -ords. In an op we analyze what we think the enemy will do. We call these enemy courses of action. We then categorize two of them as most likely enemy course of action and most dangerous enemy course of action. For each enemy course of action, or COA, or COA, we come up with a COA ourselves. But try as we might, it's not an exact science. It is an art. The famous strategist Sun Tzu titled his book such, The Art of War. The takeaway? The details of a plan are often incorrect, but the planning process itself demands the thorough exploration of options and contingencies. The knowledge gained during the plan development is crucial. Though Dungeons & Dragons is a cooperative game and neither the players nor the DM is the enemy, these concepts can apply to campaign development and preparation as well. The best dungeon masters I've gamed with developed plans, not a railroad, but plans. They've thoroughly analyzed the different possible outcomes and planned contingencies. They've adjusted the plans based on the actions of the players. The plans were thorough, yet flexible. As a result, the DMs were able to adapt to unexpected player changes in direction. And players will surprise you. But please don't confuse having a plan with railroading. Railroading is writing a script for a story and really not permitting any deviation. Except for arguably and maybe one-shots, railroading is rightfully decried as bad DMing because the DM is taking away player choice or agency. There is an expression, if you're going to railroad your players, you might as well write a book. More about railroading at another time. Just accept that in general, it's not good form. The worst DMs I've gamed with were not railroaders at all, but those with no plan. They thought very highly of their improv skills and naively just winged it. Encounters were either disjointed or poorly connected, weak, and sometimes just irrelevant. They just weren't up to the task. Rest assured, I, I enjoy good improv with the best of them. There was a terrific show a few years back called Whose Line Is It Anyway? with Drew Carey. However, they were professional actors and comedians with years of experience under their belts. So... In one respect, it really wasn't improv at all. They had been trained to develop contingencies and be prepared for deviations. It was an entertaining show. It was canceled, too. So, DMs have a plan. Thoroughly analyze it. N know that it will change, so keep it flexible. Based on your experience and your knowledge of your players, develop contingencies. Lastly, be prepared to throw the plan out and go in another direction, but don't stop planning. At the end of the day, a great plan with flexibility for creative improv will beat out a script alone or improv alone any day. I will end my diatribe there. Please like, subscribe, and roll a seven-sided die.